Hey guys, Rudrake here, and welcome back to Rudrake Plays Life is Strange. Last time, uh, we had a little bit of a uh, division in the Price Madsen household, and we ultimately decided with Chloe, one of the very few times I've really kind of done so. Kind of left the household in a wreck, but eh, I stated my reasons for throwing all that at David. So without further ado, let's move on. Man, there's a missing... Person's poster. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank mm. being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Matt. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not mm. gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Yeah. What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Well, there's only one way to find Let's out. Door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I don't think he forgot to lock it, because he's not getting wasted. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Casual ninjas. I like it. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. <laughs> Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Scooby snack. <laughs> I you like the reference. Quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Also, oh my God, really, Chloe? What the heck are you doing? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. <laughs> well, you know what? You get your hands dirty. Oh, there's a dead bird. This is so creepy. That's sad. Oh. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell is the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax, maybe go to a high school around here. The door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind, dear. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max OXOX. Aw, that's cute. That's really cute. And the old fisherman. Let's talk to him. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? Well, I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. Ugh. Ooh. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Mm. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. I've been there before. I wonder what would happen if we said the climate change thing. Don't ask. Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Hmm. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hmm. I wonder. Good morning. Don't. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Yeah, what's Bay. going on? Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Ooh. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh Yeesh. God. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hmm. There's a lot going on because of all this. Oh, hey, looky here. It's the trucker that we'd love to piss off. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. 
Yeah, that's Sounds true for truckers. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Uh, that was my friend, thank you. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel what's her face asked me once if I drive her to Los Angeles. Really? Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? Well, I what if I could? Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Well, we learned some interesting information, so let's use it. Hey, Peachy. Let's Actually, talk about his truck. I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Uh, let's say Rachel Amber. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Yeah. Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you-know-who-know-whats. Good riddance. But... You can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Why, thank you, and I do believe I will. Nope, I don't want to go there. Max, you're taking a picture, not walking in the street. There we go. I actually had a bit of a failed recording, and I'd never gotten this one before, but now we have it. Um, let's see... Yeah, I don't... I'm not 100% sure where all of these are. That's okay, though. He does have something else to say. And it's actually kind of funny. Hey. Peachy. Let's see. Actually. How the hell? Blackwell class. I took a Blackwell class on the history of truckers. I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell student with brains. Next time I get a local job, I'll let you ride along. Take care. Eh, that should work out in our favor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, I just realized I almost forgot something. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Oh, hi, Warren. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. I had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Frickin' nerds. Got a problem with nerds, Warren? There's actually stuff back here that I know, oh, and there's also a decomposing bird. Yeah, there's that. Um, there's a lady back here we can talk to. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Oh, Otherwise, sorry. Yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max, can I get you something from the diner? Yeah. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Okay, uh, Kate. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. Somehow. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. Yeah, but seriously. I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Really? Frank. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespasses. Oh, well, he did, did he? I don't he? know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Definitely. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. <sighs> Why not? I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. Hmm. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. You're welcome. And that actually does affect something at some point. Um, I... Before playing this the first time, I only misrecorded this one episode. I didn't miss anything after that. Um, that actually does affect something, and I did not even know that that choice was here. 
That and the conversation with the trucker. I didn't know about that at all until I just randomly stumbled upon it. It just goes to show that you can play a game through the first time and even be pretty detailed and still miss a couple of things. But it looks like we're here. Oh, Frank, we have some business to settle. Let's spill his drink on him. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, don't do that. So, and maybe we should spill his plate. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> uh. And no, we're not going to go hand-to-hand -hand combat with Frank. Let's see here. Let's talk to him some more. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Exactly. Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're Jerk. lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Yep. All right. Well, let's talk to the let's talk to the cop. And yes, Nathan is actually over here. He's right over here. So let's talk there to the cop she first. Is Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Really? Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Well, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. Definitely. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Uh, let's go with Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking mm -hmm. over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. I see. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Hmm, he's hiding something. Let's see if we can find out what may be useful information. Fish. Thanks, officer. I'm glad you represent. Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Mm hmm. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? No, that's a small town. Extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Uh, let's see here. I wonder what else I can say to him. Rich. Thanks. I'm glad you... See... The Prescott deal. Well, I... Darn it, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Crap, I screwed that all up. Let's see what else he has to say. I don't think... Fish. Thanks. Let's see, what else does he I'm have glad. to say here? Uh, Cape Marsh, weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. Uh, David. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. I see. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. And one of those. And Kate, I don't think will get us anywhere. In fact, no, it will not. Oh, Nathan. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. 
Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public mm -hmm. diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Well, maybe if you would have, you know, been a decent human being, I wouldn't have to. Kate. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. Screw what do you, you want Nathan. Ah, uh, drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Why, thank you. Holy shit. Shut up, Nathan. Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Mm -hmm. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Holy about that. Looks like we have more we need to talk to you about. Your daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. Yeah, like a coward. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Yeah, we do. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe Just I'll like help? you, the apple didn't far, fall too far from the tree, anything. I guess. You have to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. I got one more thing to ask you. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Mm -hmm. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Oh, I, I won't. Get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Thank you for the information. Looks like the cop has one more thing to tell me. What can me. I do for you, Max? Uh, Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. No, he's not. I represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. Mm. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation, he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. Hmm. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Looks like we got some useful information. Okay, Frank, let's have a chat, shall we? And this time I won't throw food on you. What the fuck now? Let's see here, let's talk about David being after the gun. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Now let's try buying drugs. By the way, Frank, I was something I would never say in real life. Any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Bull crap. Not you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. Move back off. <clears throat> Get a new outfit. Uh, looks like, leave me alone. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to back I up. Said that. I need to rewind.
Let's try this again. What the f Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. Mm hmm You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Well, screw you. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Really, now? We'll see about that. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. I did. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Back off, Frank. <laughs> now back to Chloe. You know, I wonder what the other options were. My work here is done here, Frank. Eh, never mind. All right. Well, I'm going to end things here, and next time... Oops, I was trying to get a close-up shot here, or a zoom-out shot. And next time, we will go inside Frank's RV and see what's going on. Rick out. Get the treat, treat boy! The meat is in the street. Oh, no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now.